going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome along to the stream. It's Saturday evening, it's 8 o'clock, it means it's time for a Sim Racing Bible live stream. So welcome along, hope you uh, enjoy the stream this evening. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be back in Automobile Blister 2 again and we're going to be taking a look at F1 cars on stupidly short inappropriate tracks for F1 cars. We mentioned this a few times in videos that we've done. We thought, well, why not try some of the F1 cars that you're in? I said, oh, sorry, I said of course, Automobile Blister 2 um, and try them out on some of the shorter circuits and just see how well they get on um, and just how much of a handful it might be on some of these tighter, shorter circuits. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we'll jump into the sim. Here we go. Uh, so as you might see from there, the first thing we're going to try is we're going to try the uh, McLaren MP4 12 at Brands Indy. So we're going to do um, a little bit of a, a race format for this. So you know, it's it's all very well driving one of these F1 cars at uh, one of these circuits by yourself with no one else on track. But what's it actually like to race these things at tracks where you just never see F1 cars racing? So that's what we're going to try. We're going to do short uh, qualifying sessions and 10 minute races as well just to kind of get a feel for how things go. So we're going to have the McLaren and the, uh, the same class involved as well, which is um, the Formula V10s. So can be some other variety on track as well. So let's load into the sim now. And, uh, and see how we get on. So, hope you're all doing well. Um, again, another mad busy week from my side of things. I've not been able to get a video out this week. Um, however, hopefully this week will be better and we'll be able to get something up for you guys to watch. Um, so, just a nice relaxed kind of a stream again this evening. We had a, a bit of a mad time last week driving the, uh, the trophy trucks in iRacing, which was a lot of fun. So, this time we're back in AMS2. So, this is the McLaren Mercedes which has the weird double braking system but I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm just going to drive it as a regular F1 car. So, Brands Indy then. It's uh, ridiculously short and with a powerful V10 engine F1 car could be quite a handful. Oh, do love the sound of a V10 F1 engine at high revs. <laughs> so this is all very well and good. So we've had Formula 1 cars go around Brands Hatch before now, which is no real issue, but not on this tiny little indie circuit. It's very, very loose so far. company behind. Uh, just made it through Paddock Hill Bend, up to Druids. Maybe not first gear, let's go to second just because I just imagine we're going to spin the rears up too easily. Bit of action going on up ahead. This is qualifying by the way. We have a 20 minute session but it's enough time for us to get a feel for the car on track and <laughs> how quickly you can take some of these corners. Just kind of trying to feel my way into this first off, just to get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Hi Funky, good to have you back. I'm doing well, doing well, hope you are too. Been for a bit of a interesting evening this evening, hopefully. This thing's really cool, actually. Just a little bit of a lift through there. Clearways is so tricky in this car. Just need to be a bit more uh, confident on the brakes, shall we say. Too many gears. <laughs> get the feeling we're not particularly quick at the moment, although that's a better first split, but let's hear this other car right behind me. It's a better line to the feed the power in gently before you can really give it some full throttle action out of there. Because of the camber of the roads it's so easy just to light the rears up and send you off into the gravel on the outside. Cars grounding out everywhere. Yeah, that's that first gear I wanted to avoid. Okay, 
starting to get a bit more confident with the car. <laughs> yeah, that's right, there's just so many cars to try. Modern F1 cars are not normally my go-to, my chosen method of transport. Oop. Bit of a stutter there. Um, yeah, F1 cars aren't normally my my preference. However, they are very well done in AMS2, and as you say, there's lots to try. There's lots of different eras, all with their own individual characteristics and driving style requirements. But you could spend hours and hours just driving individual cars. <laughs> That's right, just come out of the pits and just block me. It's obviously against the AI here as well, by the way, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> Dear. So far, the AI are absolutely trouncing me. <laughs> How do they hold on to that? It's nuts. Oh, more outlap traffic to deal with. Well, that was an interesting moment. He's still there. <laughs> Post-1980. Oop. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... The, the older ones normally hold my interest as well, and being honest, I, I'm a big fan of historic motorsports, so I love everything historic. And, uh, so the really old 60s and 70s cars, they're more my flavour, if I'm being honest. We might well bring some of those out in the video, I reckon. I just have no confidence going in on the brakes. I just have this nasty feeling it's just going to lock up and I'll be straight off. Interesting, actually, I'm just seeing. I don't know whether this is new. You might not be able to make it out on the stream, but there seems to be a bit of a rubbering in line appearing. Never come across that before in AMS2. You can see it, there's like two tyre tracks. It's a little bit too quick through there. <laughs> Looks like someone's driven through some hot tyre and just left some marks all around the place. Well, that is just trying to shake my hands to death, but that is just nuts. We are a long way off the pace. But we're not last, that's the main thing. <laughs> I may have set the AI a little too high for my uh, ability here. Right, must be braver on the brakes. Let's try and figure out exactly how much brake pressure I can apply. So we'll try it into we'll try it into Jura this time round. Okay, that was reasonable. Slows down a bit better as well. Just being too timid with it, just because I think the general speed of the thing. And because it's unloaded the inside wheels through there as well, that's what's kind of making me feel a little bit uneasy about it, I think. Also, um, welcome along to our, our teammates, those who have hit the big red button below. We hope you uh, enjoy the stream as well. Uh, we don't have subscribers on the uh, on the channel. We just have teammates. 
who uh, come along for the ride with us. Yeah, I, I, I did see that they um, they changed the track sessions, sorry, the, the track status from session to session, which is cool. Which means we should get the same amount of grip as we go into the next part, which is the race. But yeah, I've not come across this um, Robert in line before now as well. So a tiny hint of a lock up then. <laughs> Guess he's pitting in, yeah. Couldn't see him, my wheel was in the way, just all of a sudden there's this car going very slowly. <laughs> well, there's a very good reason why F1 cars don't do Brands Indy. It's because it's not particularly safe. When you're travelling this kind of speed. What was I doing in first there? <laughs> so the problem with modern F1 cars is because they have so many gears and you go down them so quickly you just sometimes just lose track of where where exactly you are. You're too busy trying to focus on the track ahead of you that you don't even gauge what gear you're in, go into a corner. You kind of get into a rhythm after a while and figure out just how many gears you do go down but if you get caught up in a a battle or focusing on something else, sometimes it's just a bit easy to go one too many. We've climbed the order a little bit, we're up to 15th now. So we're going to be starting this mid grid, which is ideal. <laughs> oh, we got one off already. Someone's struggling with the speed, it's one of my fellow McLaren drivers. It's all getting rather busy all of a sudden here. Someone's slowing everybody up. Yeah. Well, that was quite good. The AI car ahead realised that I'd completely um, dive bombed him there and just gave me a bit of room, which is cool. <laughs> My day, four gears was plenty. Yes. Four and an overdrive if you're lucky. <laughs> That's why I love Lotus Cortinas. Four gears. Plenty of fun. Focusing on just keeping the car going in the direction you want. Let's try and short shift a little bit out of there if I can. Tighter line, maybe. Okay, we're not really going any quicker. So, what we might do is we'll uh, go to the pit box and we'll fast forward to the next part of the session, which is the race. So, we're going to be starting from P15, so that's cool. Right. Again, this is another good test of the AI capability within Automobilista 2, uh, as well as my ability to dodge AI cars. <laughs> um, so this could be this could be a bit of fun here. So let's let's jump into the race. Here. Stunning start. Cars already rolling. Gonna get a penalty probably. <laughs> okay, we're away. Everyone barreling into Palicle Bend first time round. Ooh. Bit of under stimid corner. Keep to the inside here. Let's try and be a little bit conservative about this rather than just lunging everyone. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a place lost again. Right. Not an awful lot of grip on this first lap out. Oh, we got one in the gravel. <laughs> Let's see if we can make advantage. Oh no no no! It's going to come across and block us there. <laughs> so 
saved it. Let's say the AI are racing quite well actually. Left behind here a little bit, we need to get our skates on here. We've got a train behind us. Rounding out. Of course, the gear problem is only going to get worse as we get to the uh, even more modern Formula One cars with their uh, eight gears or whatever it is. Okay, we've kind of peg the gap a little bit, but we just need to try and bring it in a little bit if we can. Ooh, that's too much curb. Old school brands hatch with some gravel trap runoff on the outside there. Something you don't see very often in Formula 1 these days, apart from at Mugello, um, Portimao, Imola of course. Only because they brought them in for this year. Gravel action ahead. Definitely losing touch and holding up a whole lot of people behind as well. Definitely trying to make a move ahead here. Get off the grass. Get my foot in. The other problem with single seaters, I find, is because you're sat so low, you end up obscuring your vision with the steering wheel. Oh, that's a missed apex. Yep, knew that was coming. Okay, let's see if we can use this car ahead to pull us along, or just instantly lose touch one of the two. <laughs> Grass is not the place to be. Oh dear me, this thing's a handful. Yeah, they're, they're always looking to improve the AI. I think there's been a few more tweaks in this recent patch update as well. They are working really, really hard to keep improving this as they go. And it is getting better and better. Again, too busy trying to take a nice wide line into that part of the clearway section there, but just clipping the grass too much. It's got to trust the downforce a little bit more, I reckon. Ooh, that's a lockup. <laughs> Another place lost. We also did a um, a video around Brands Indy in a Formula One car. That was in the set of Corsa, though. We did a a rather silly challenge where I thought, well, let's take the the 97T Lotus and just see if we can set a decent lap time while drinking a mug full of water. <laughs> Tell you what, it certainly cleaned my insides out very nicely. We've just got zero pace in this thing. <laughs> but to be fair to the AI, yeah, they're taking their opportunities. They're diving past me when I'm making my errors because I can't keep this thing on the track. See? Ah. <laughs> oh. 
Maybe we'll finish last. That might be the safest place for me at this point. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, we might get a place back. Yes. Yeah, it was, um, it was fun. My uh, kidneys were working overtime. getting bullied off everywhere. <laughs> I'm the only one taking that line out of there. Everyone else is taking the normal racing line like every other racing driver would. Racing without traction control, obviously, as you can tell with my oversteery moments. Which might be where everyone else is getting the advantage over me, but. Not last. <laughs> Two minutes to go. All we need to do is just keep it on the island for another. couple of laps. <laughs> Is the uh, lack of grip offline noticeable? Um, possibly. Only because at the moment I feel like I have a, a lack of grip everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it does. You know, going deep into Druids, for example, it doesn't particularly want to come back to the apex at all, no matter what you do, so there probably is a, a lack of grip off the racing line. I do wonder whether that'll make a, a difference in wet weather racing as well, whether if you actually take wet lines, what was an interesting line through there. <laughs> Go for the cut, no problem. Well, let's go for a move here. Here we go. Nope. Let's just <laughs> drive around the outside of me. <laughs> I also have noticed that they are bringing dirt onto the track. So if you leave the track, there are actually um, streaks of dirt that does appear on the surface. Ooh, focus. This guy's desperate to get past me. It's uh, quite a race for the second to last positions. Tell you what, when you get on a short circuit like this, it doesn't have tiring. Not really anywhere to relax around here as well, so. Is this the end? The time's run out, so. Probably the last lap now, I look to things. <laughs> stacked up behind me. <laughs> well, that was not a uh, particularly amazing display of driving. <laughs> well, we have learned one thing though, that F1 cars and short tracks are a surefire way of keeping you awake. Okay, well, that's a V10 around Brands Hatch. Oh, 
let's see what else we can do. Oh, I'm pumped up now. I constantly seem like I'm turning right. So this thing's constantly over there. Right. Uh, let's go... Should we go old school? I think we should go a little bit old school. <laughs> yeah, I did survive. It was definitely a case of survival, that one. Oh, dear. Um... Let's go 70s. I love the 70s F1 cars just because of the massive air boxes on them. They just look so cool. Um, yeah, bit of a, a load of 72, I think. If I uh, if I could only just about survive in that McLaren, I don't know what's going to happen here, but um, it could be interesting. <laughs> Next one I wanted to try. Oh well, yeah, Londrina. I, I'm I'm definitely going to give that one a go. I think. That would be completely um, incompatible, I reckon, with F1 cars. It's, that chicane, for one, would just be <laughs> chaos. I think this is just going to be a, a yeah, a flat fest. Let's try. We're going to jump into some of the, the uh, Brazilian circuits as well. Let's let's go with let's go with Londrina. Should we do long or short? Um, I like the long version best. I think it's got a nicer flow, but then we are looking at inappropriate tracks, so the short version might be the best because <laughs> of this this section here. Let's do that. Right, uh, we're going to have the same class, aren't we? Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to actually just give myself a chance here. That's cheating, but... <laughs> if I couldn't keep up with them, then I'm, yeah, unlikely to keep up with this. We'll use the, uh, the proper age pattern box for this as well, I think. Because you you have to. There's no there's no realism in using paddles if driving one of these things. Uh, reckons we've got a five-speed gearbox in this thing, so it's good. Clouds are rolling over nicely. Carriage man says go, so let's go. Ah, oh, now this is this is what I like. Nice chrome bezeled Smiths gauges. Leather steering wheel and a DFV. Perfect. Too busy watching my gearbox rather than where I was going. Right. Short version. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a push from behind. It's, um, wow. Just uh, everywhere. Yeah, they don't like that chicane. <laughs> Aww, sounds so good. Okay, so you can take quite a bit of speed through there by the looks of things. Now there should be even less grip in this than there was in the McLaren, so we should be expecting that, but my word, there's a lot of understeer. I'm going to have to just try and... no, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, that's very strange. great thing about these particular era of Formula 1 cars is they do require proper driving. What is going on with that? That's just... Yeah, you can slide them a little bit. I wonder whether I just need to be more aggressive with the throttle, I think. Look at that. I mean, massive slicks. Great big exhaust pipe guns pointing at me. It just looks so good. power on through there, it just increases the understeer. Bit of 
heel and toe action, which is always fun. <laughs> I got to do something like that. That is just crazy. Can't just be. Can't just be how it handles. Uh, right. Let's delve into the realms of the unknown. Uh, right. Drop some downforce off there. Not that that's going to make any difference in the slow speed stuff. Um, okay, the caster, caster. What should we do in here? Um, let's drop that down a little bit. Give that a go. Not that um, these are that bit limiters, of course, but uh, Bravo chasing us down. <laughs> Forgot I was in a 70s F1 car then. Yeah, I'm not surprised I got a warning for that. Yeah, better-ish. Yeah, I don't know whether it's tire warming, maybe. I don't think they'd have tyre warmers on this particular era of car, I suppose. Looks like the AI would go out with nice, fresh, warm tyres. It's a little bit more helpful. Well, at least we can get around the corner, that's a big improvement. Now, let's see if we can actually set ourselves a time and get ourselves up the grid a little bit. <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> yeah, they're not the grippiest of tyres, I will admit. Even though there's a lot of contact patch, they don't yield an awful lot of grip. Yeah, just that little bit of throttle there helped to bring the, the back end around a bit. Better. Now we just need to set a lap time. Not one that counts. Seems to be grounding out quite significantly. <laughs> I don't <know> again. <laughs> Let's see if we can raise the right eye because we are grounding out quite a bit there. Obviously, we're running 28 laps of fuel as well, which probably isn't helping us. Uh, where am I going here? Right. Right, right. It's as high as it'll go. Yeah, why not? It's the worst that could happen. Oh. Traffic jam. Can I get out, please? I'm going to squeeze through there. Here we go. Take three. So the fellow Lotus go through. It's been mentioned on the channel before now that um, the 72, the Lotus 72 is my dad's favourite F1 car of all time. So he'll 
definitely approve of this choice. Also, be to do with that weight, I suppose, with the fuel. Never know. Right, so this time we are going to set ourselves a lap time that is legal in the eyes of the clerk of the course. That was very timid through that. <laughs> one-handed saves with the order of the day with this thing. Especially if you got one hand off, changing gear. Ooh. <laughs> I do love the noise of the DFA. So good. Neater that time through there. <laughs> I wasn't going to back it in for a second lap in a row. Not sure about first gear through here, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> Still warming tyres, it's fine. And we're still last. <laughs> this race isn't going to go well, is it? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> How much longer have we got? Nine minutes left for qualifying. Okay, um, let's actually try this. Let's take some f fuel out. Just see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Second gear takeoff. Maybe Londrina isn't the place for something like this, but it is good fun. I'm trying to tame this thing anyway. Although we're in a, a Formula car, my Formula room isn't particularly helpful in this case. It's because trying to catch slides is uh, not easy. <laughs> yeah, those sausages. It's enough to turn anyone vegetarian. It's a little better. Still incredibly slow. Miss the sausage. Ooh, that's a positive sign. It's at a best sector one time, apparently. I know we're quicker than the AI through this chicane. As long as we keep it in track limits on the exit, they'll probably make up some time through this next section here. Do a little bit with a, a shorter shift. Oh, 
what felt like a better lap, but it's still not going to be... Oh, we gained one place. Yes! on his gearbox again, more so than the last slip. So satisfying using an H pattern. Even if it is an old Logitech G27 H pattern. Held up here, what's going on? It's not like me. Oh no, shifted to third. That's the other thing with these cars is because the, the track on the rear is so much wider than the front, sometimes you just forget just how wide they are. May well just set that fastest sector time, but that was on the limit for me anyway. There we go. Just gonna overtake someone. Yeah, that's it. We're finding our rhythm now. We're all good. Oh. <laughs> I don't care if this lap time is slower, that was awesome. Yeah, leave it in second. Oh, I just stuck it on pole. <laughs> oh wow, okay. That's awesome fun, actually. I love that. So I know it's slightly slower than the. Uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> slightly slower than the other um, F1 cars, so they are a little bit easier to handle on the the tighter tracks. Um, but there's still enough here to be um, keeping it interesting. That's for sure. Right. Uh, go pit box. Let's um. Let's skip forward. Start with some pole and uh, see how many places we go backwards <laughs> from here. I better put some f more fuel in. I don't know how many laps this is going to take. Ten minutes. I've actually forgotten what kind of lap times we were doing around here. It's not going to tell me now either. So, ah, uh, 15 laps. If you run out of fuel, we run out of fuel. Whoa. Okay. Ready to go. Not a bad start. Got some clear air around us. Not the ideal first corner. <laughs> so tight into there. Okay, we survived. Can we survive the first couple of laps on cold tyres? That's one place gone. through here a little bit, just get an idea. Yeah, it probably is plenty of fuel. <laughs> Definitely this is where we're losing out to everyone else. Let's try and not let him get away. <laughs> I 
block his exit point there with a big bit of oversteer. Probably may have backed the uh, AI off just a touch too much. Such a great combination of corners through there. into that. <laughs> so pulling away a little bit, but only that's because our favourite part of the track was that section so oops this is when you see the front the um you see the, the curbs coming up at you and there's nothing you can do about it yeah, that's exactly. That's what you got to do in these uh, 70s F1 cars. You've got to make them wide by sliding them everywhere. And they're already pretty wide with the big slicks at the rear, but when they uh, step out sideways... Too much. Lovely, you can flick it through that chicane. Very rewarding when you put the effort in and you uh, learn to drive them a little bit more. Yeah, sausages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you uh, start to get a bit of a understanding of how they work and uh, how to get. Oh, just okay, stick Blonquist, let's stop that. <laughs> Secretly, all that was about was trying to get them back into the race again. <laughs> Nothing at all to do with the fact that I am having a bit of a moment. Actually, that did feel like there was a lot less grip when I was off to the left there. Here is not the place to make a move, so we're just going to... Let's back out of that just a little bit. Straight to the inside to block me off then, that's good. Right, let's neaten this up a bit. So to get a little bit too sideways. Just want just a little bit, just want to get a bit of slip angle through the tyres just to help the rotation. Let's 
get on the power so much earlier through here. It's just no grip through that. Uh oh. Got a gaggle coming towards me. That bump just as it kind of rejoins the longer circuit, which just really unsettles it through there. Two and a half minutes to go. Can we make the lead hours again? as much time to through there that time. But if we are going to get this lead back we need to have the, the move done before then and then hold him off through that section. Or just... Oh, I was honestly going to just clout the back of him then. Too late on the brakes. Bending into there again. Okay, this time we're going to get a good run through turn one, because this is probably going to be our last opportunity. What am I doing with the gearbox? Well, that's a surefire way to blow an engine. Oh, we're too far back. <laughs> it is a good fight. It's one of the other things I love about historic motorsport is that, more evident with the touring cars, is that there's certain cars which are better in one area of the track than others. And it makes for really interesting battles. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's not how I intended that to happen. Oh. I'd just like to um, just like to apologise to the greater sim racing community um, for that appalling behaviour. I can assure you, it'll never happen again. <laughs> so what was an easy second turned out to be a um, Rather humiliating 13th. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. That was fun. That car is uh, a handful, but uh, yeah, enjoyable. <laughs> oh, why did they have to end like that? Last lap. <laughs> yes, yeah, you didn't really necessarily mean a, an actual fight, I'm sure. Uh, my bad. Right, okay, let's um, go back a little bit more modern. We're going to go with the Formula Riser, which is based on a 2010-11 type car, I'd like to say. Seven ge gears to uh, to play with, or get lost in. Um, right, let's choose a track. So, we are going to try... <laughs> this thing is uh, not going to like it around there. 
I'm going to leave this one to last to room it because it's going to be interesting. Right. Um, I reckon let's let's go for it. go for the next one notch on the old AI as well, just to see if we can end up mid-grid and have a battle, not a fight. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, call up to the steward's office for that one for sure. <laughs> okay, so, Santa Cruz and Dosol featured in our Hidden Gems track compilation. Um, this F1 car was not. So. <laughs> if I can even get out of the out of the pit lane. So, already an example of why this car is not suited to this particular track. So we have a V8 engine in this one, but uh, revs an awful lot higher than it did in the Lotus. All right, yeah. you drivers, you know what you're doing with this car. Right, the main issue here I can foresee is being able to see corners over that nose. <laughs> well, Already it's quite nice to have a front end which turns in. But it's incredibly bumpy. <laughs> Stop all these turns. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, it's, I, I do like this track. Not sure how much I'm gonna enjoy it in this thing. But it. Oh! <laughs> I'm so used to that chicane coming up much slower than that. I wasn't expecting to have to turn so quickly. We just uh, turned Automobile Blister 2 into Flight Simulator. The other reason why tracks like this are not particularly suitable for F1 cars like this is because the curbs can be quite quite tall, which can cause grounding out and bottoming out. Oh my word. Also with this particular car, the um, the force feedback is uh, significantly higher as well. Right, must make chicane. <laughs> there it is. And then it's a corner down here somewhere. Corners come up at you so quickly. And then this section is just long downforce corner after another. But it's so bumpy. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> oh, my forearms. <laughs> There's a chicane around there somewhere. And there's a curb there somewhere. Okay, getting to grips with the car. We're guessing where the track goes. We're winning. Even 
catching another car. Oh, that's because he's pitting him. False hope. And breathe. Oh, B2. That's a pleasant surprise. Maybe we are quicker than we thought we were. <laughs> no, don't want to repeat of the last race, thank you. because my arms couldn't carry on <laughs> holding on like that. <laughs> no, probably not the best car to, to learn this track with. Um, yeah, you, you don't really know where you're going, so... I'd, I'd probably run with something a bit slower and with a bit more visibility. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, ten minutes around here with this thing on that kind of... Force feedback is this going to uh, write me off tomorrow? Um, right. Well, we've got a P2 that time. Oh, we've been bumped back down. Where are we now? And we're last. Excellent. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, um, we'll let everyone else go ahead and have their moment, and we'll just pick up the pieces, maybe. Here we go. Stop. Now, how will the AI handle turn one? Fairly civilly, actually. Ten minutes of pure workout coming up right now. jinking out there was more out of pure avoidance rather than trying to make a move. But we did make a move there. No, we didn't. <laughs> okay, we have some space. Let's see if we can catch back up. Almost flat, actually, that one. Is that chicane somewhere? gaining on them again, which is good. Now I don't normally have my force feedback turn up particularly high. But this particular car seems to just have quite a lot of uh, force going through it. I mean, obviously you've got downforce and everything going on, but this is particularly brutal. There's a car somewhere hidden by my glove.
see why a lot of people who play F1 games play from the the T-bar view. Just so you can actually see where you're going. What I am glad about is this particular circuit has a straight at least, so I can catch my breath and let the lactic acid disperse. Big time to 11. Yeah, there's a slight lift through there, I think. Just so you don't run off too wide on the exits. much plank left underneath this after the end of this race. Fail the ride height tests I'm sure. Get some grip, get me back to the apex. <laughs> Forearms are burning. <laughs> oh, four minutes left. <laughs> Who knew that this would become part of a exercise program for me? Although, despite the fact that we're right at the back of the grid, I do feel that we have the AI set just right at the moment. Well, for this car and track combo, definitely. Oh, too greedy, trying to take too much speed through there, because I've got to see how much, how much speed they were taking through there. And I thought, well, let's try and increase our speed oh, I'm all over the place now. I know it's not the the best place. I suppose if you're if you're in this thing for real, you'd kind of look through it, I suppose, the aerial. <laughs> My arms are dead. <laughs> I'm not going to gain that back. Right, then we can check that off. Formula Riser, Santa Cruz do Sol. Not a combination. <laughs> Not unless you want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. <sighs> okay. Where else can we find which is uh, inappropriate? Right. Well, let's. Um, let's go Formula V12 this time. Not in that livery because it looks a little bit. Let's go in that one. Looks nice. Right. Two more, oh, and then we'll uh, we'll have gained a nice list of combos to avoid. <laughs> um, right. I'm actually quite tempted to try this actually with, with the, the the V12, which is not as quick as the uh, the Formula Rise that we've just been in. Um, so let's. Uh, Let's see if we get some here. I, I love the Brasilia outer circuit in in most cars, um, but uh, I've never tried it in a in a Formula One car on an automobile blister two. So this would be a first for me. As are most of these tonight, actually, to be honest. Um, <laughs> you could probably tell the fact that I'm not used to driving these cars by the um, 
the way I'm driving them, I suppose. <laughs> it's not been it's not been a fine portfolio of my driving abilities. Right. So the V10 sounded great. I'm pretty sure this is also going to sound just as great. A 90s style formula car. Hi MFB videos, welcome along. I've stalled and now I cannot get going, so <laughs> what a time to join. Let's um no, not restart the session, return to the box, drive. Let's try not stall this time. Here we go. V12 power. Heaps of revs. And a corn a uh, track with mostly right hand corners all of which are quite quick. Let's see how this goes. This one might not be so bad purely because there's some straights in between to uh, break things up a little bit. This last corner is so cool, it's just a fast Cambered sweeper. <laughs> so quick to do that. <laughs> Seem to be spending most of the lap in fifth and sixth. Oh, big snapper over to you on the way in. I feel like I have half a chance of keeping this thing. I'm not, <laughs> not going to say it. <laughs> Every time I say that I've got a chance of not crashing, the inevitable happens. So I'm not going to say it. But this feels easier to drive. I'm going to put it out that way. It's probably still going to curse me, but... Oh, well, we put it on... Um, Put it on pole so far. Motorist 2. I've not actually heard of that. What does that entail? Oh, Automobilista 2. There we go. Right, cool. Well, good. Well, welcome along. It's good to have you on board. Uh, sit back and enjoy a bit of nonsensical Formula One car action from circuits which just don't usually suit Formula One cars. Let us know your thoughts on the on the sim as well. Love to hear it. McLaren F1 is from around here. Yeah, I can imagine it is with the um, the streetcar version or the the GT1, both probably, but. so quick. Right, down two gears for the first one. Chuck it in. Try not to run into the back of the car in front. Fair dues to him. Holding on around the outside. Yeah, so the, we could try the, the complete track as well. I was doing the short circuits really this evening just to uh, emphasize the, uh, the, <laughs> the big thing with uh, fast Formula 1 cars and short circuits. Yeah, the last corner is fantastic. I spent many, uh, many laps driving around here in the stock car on the original game stock car. Well, I just love the flow around here, it's really, really cool. Let's just 
Oop. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> F1 is on our hearts. If your heart is on the track, the track will be f one Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. It's just, uh... Yeah, it's a bit, um... Difficult in some cases. We've done Londrina Shore. We actually tried that in the 70s F1 cars. We drove it in a Lotus 72E. Um, it was going great. Um, until the end of the race. The last corner, in fact. Almost. <laughs> Where I, I handed myself over to the stewards. That's sad about the uh, the stadium being unused. Ooh. Oops, someone's had a moment. <laughs> it's good to see that the um, AI actually do make some mistakes, which is good. Oh, right, okay. I feel like I'm at uh, a reversed, mirrored version of Indianapolis actually around here. Just the, the way it works, which is quite interesting. Right. Back to the pit garage then, so we're on pole by about three tenths, so we can skip to the end and I'm sure we'll probably go to the very end of the uh, very end of the session and bottom of the timesheet as well, so let's see. Oh no, no, we're still still on pole. Right, okay, let's um Well because we're on pole, I'm actually going to Restart the session. Skip to the end. And then we're actually just going to jump in um, at the back and see how far through we can get. Um, this might well mean that we end up crashing to the back of someone, but um, it'll be fun. That's what the whole reason of this is, so um, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Qualified for mounting another vehicle. Yes, yes, that would definitely be my punishment. Here we go. Just trying to help his uh, brake, that's all I was doing. Outside, uh, probably not the base place to be, but keep it pinned. Behaving quite well so far, the AI. Just about rounded that one up, we did. That's one. Squeeze onto the dirt ahead. Oh, it's all tight round here. There's <laughs> nowhere to go, it's just a wall of F1 cars. This really is like IndyCar racing, you just kind of get a groove and you just keep it there. Whole field of screaming V12s. Making the, uh, the High Line work for us quite nicely around there. Lick of flame. No, oh, don't go on the grass. Yeah, got a good run there. There we go. <laughs> we lost a bit of momentum out of there with a bit of oversteer, but um, we're still in one piece, which is the main thing. Whoa, I was ambitious. <laughs> we'll have that. We'll have that place. <laughs> this guy's got held up a little bit from that. And someone else mounting the curb in the front as well. <laughs> Just two by two all the way around. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no engine stop. No. Ah, oh, no way. I can't get out. 
That's that's rubbish. Have I got to start? Ah, excellent. Right, okay, go, go, go. Wasn't sure whether I had a starter button mapped or not. Oh dear. Looks like a bit of a tangle of wheels into the first corner, into the last corner there. <laughs> the V trolls flying everywhere. With the uh, the lap time difference around here, I'm not sure we'll pull much back on them, but. At least we got a bit of clear space now to really give it a good run. Oh, that's so good to do that. Right. Let's set some good laps here and see how far we can get. Track limits. Take on. It's a really dramatic looking stadium. It looks really cool. It's a shame it's mostly unused. on the road. I do like that they've added that in. I'm sure that's new from a recent update. But it's good that they're adding these little details just make for an overall improved experience as well. Uh, ambitious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they put a whole lot of WTCR drivers in. Well, we could actually see them ahead, so we might have a chance of catching them, maybe. All depends on my ability to keep it on track. That was absolutely flat. Yeah. Well, that's one sure way to get back to the pits. <laughs> oh, I want to. I, I, I kind of want to do that again, but not get um, caught up in the actual chaos. Let's see if we can try that again. Let's see if they can keep it clean. Because there's some good racing going on up until that point. That's our first one, rounded up on turn one. Just gotta watch out for them attacking the curbs too much. With that black and gold car to get out of our high line and we can uh, start making some moves. Here we go. Oh, I don't lift off the... <laughs> Interested ahead. Picked up a few so far, which is good. Oh, I'm not going to go for that gap, shall I? Yeah. They yeah, outbroke me. So we're up to 18th. Yeah, the AI is definitely using probably a bit too much curb. Yes, we missed it. There we go. Drive through it. I'm good on them for trying to use the curbs at least. That's um, that's something. It uh, doesn't quite suit these cars. Oof! Big hip and shoulder ahead. Very robust events.
touch a little bit with the really front guys, but um, should be able to bring that back. Yeah, got a good run on them here. Let them fight it out. In general, they're racing quite nicely. Yeah, definitely have the edge on them through the final corner. There's nowhere to go here. Three wide? Yeah. We've <laughs> got locked together. <laughs> Fight amongst yourselves, boys. I'm off. There's me trying to use too much curb on the inside. <laughs> oh, we got smoke. We got chaos. Ooh. One more. Definitely the closest thing we have to IndyCar in AMS2 for sure. But without the cautions. P11, can we make the uh, top 10 here? We have five minutes to go, good chance of that. Off the grass. They tangled as well. We get both of them here. A bit too late to make a dive inside. do the same move, I don't think. Because this isn't the grip offline to be able to uh, turn in and make the corner at the same kind of speed as these guys will be. They're just two by two the whole way around. So blocking the road. Leave some for everyone else. Oh. Made the move. Oh, he's going back for it again. Wow. It's great racing, actually. Impressed. Oh, I'm going to go on the outside. No, I'm not. <laughs> Guy's fault, chucking all this dirt all over the track. Gaining on the leaders as well. It's great racing. Okay, I'm gonna go for this time, I gotta run. Turn it on me. Well, I think we got one of them. Yep. That's our top ten. Three minutes. See how much further we can get into it. So, despite the uh, little bit of chaos on this last corner early on, it's been relatively clean. train in front are really holding themselves up. Oof. Just about got away with a bit of a 
a slide on the exit there. Get off. Oh no, spoke too soon. <laughs> Suddenly we find ourselves in P4. <laughs> felt like cold trickle then. But with no roof. A minute and 46 left. I don't think a podium's on. But not too bad from the back. Helped obviously by uh, a couple of useful incidents. Don't shift down to fourth there. Not good for the, the vowels. Loads of room behind us now. A surefire way of um, surefire way of getting tinnitus driving those things. Right, last one then. We are going to go for the fastest of the fast with the Formula Ultimate. I didn't have a look at the tire times. Were they uh, were they through the roof? <laughs> So we're going to go with the Formula Ultimate, which is the most modern Formula 1 car in Automobile Blister 2. Um, and we are going to take it to... To Rumo, I think. No, not that one. This one. I love to Rumo. I think it's uh, a really fun little track. So why not take one of the fastest and most ridiculous cornering speed type car and uh, just see how fast some of these corners are. There's a couple of slow ones, obviously the, the hairpin itself. Um, there's a, one in the middle section which is a little bit slower, but in general they're all very, very quick corners. So how will this modern beast handle it? Let's let this guy go. Tell you what, this thing sounds so less interesting than the other ones we've driven tonight. But you cannot deny its speed. One of the good flowing corners through there. This last corner is super quick, uphill, with camber. Force feedback's nice and strong when you're driving at the, the, the highest speeds with downforce, full eight gears of course. First corner here, 
absolutely flat. Second one. Yes, it's flat as well. <laughs> and almost right into the back of the car ahead. Faster cars, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, I am trying. Let's get through this last corner now. Maybe Jefferson's coming. What have we got? Tried this in Automobile Blister 1 and got a 45 lap. Don't know how it would be on MS2. Is that a challenge? <laughs> well, so far, we've done a 44 0. But I reckon there's room for improvement on that. Especially when we get this other car out of our way, hopefully. He seems to be holding us up a little bit in the middle there. Come on. <laughs> That's not uh, behaviour I would condone, by the way, um, pushing cars out of the way, even if they are AI and you feel they deserve it. He is giving us a bit of a tow as well, which I suppose is helpful. Drop one gear, straight back on the power. Now, I, I said it at the start of this, I, I really like this track. And to be honest, even in something like this, it's still epic fun, even though you're flat out most of the lap. There we go, get that done. Let's see what we can do now we've got some clear space. Probably throw it off into the bushes. Three tenths up. So again, we're just on default setup for this one. So you really feel the load through there. It's awesome. Love that bit. You just kind of run through the, uh, run to the outside of the circuit and just naturally find the apex back again on the inside. That's car all the way. Well, if you're watching the last one, guys, the uh, V12s around Brasilia is almost like mirrored IndyCar. I know you've been running a lot of Daytona today. Hopefully, uh, you actually managed to get one clean race in. a line through there that time. Oh, that's just so good. This should be a level up again. What are we on? 42. <laughs> Too busy watching that lap time. It wasn't turning in. That's what happens when you're driving cars this fast. You just you look away for a second and all of a sudden you're facing a tyre stack. Where we are on a 42.8. So it'd be interesting to go back onto MS1 and just see what we can do in the same car and track. Oh, let's pull off there. Forearms are killing me. Just one race, P8. Oh, that's good. So you got, came back from after the wreck as well, that's really good. Were you a lot slower in a straight line after that? Because there's quite a bit of damage there. I mean, you were in the pits for two minutes, weren't you? Right, let's... Um, we'll do the same as we did at uh, Brasilia. We're going to restart the session. So we're quite comfortably on pole there, so we're going to skip to the end of that. And we'll start from the back. And, uh, yeah... <laughs> I'll try and remember that the AI has feelings too. <laughs> Uh, right, back of the grid, Taruma, Formula Ultimate, gear is selected, red lights are on, 
rubbish start. Excellent. <laughs> We're already up to ridiculous speeds. And there's a whole gaggle of Formula 1 cars barreling through corners flat out. We're all very careful around here. It's almost like driving on ice today, everyone's just being extra cautious. It's happening. Oh, what are you doing over there? <laughs> yeah, let me help you. <laughs> this way. No, not that way. <laughs> right, restart required. <laughs> How did he get over there? Just cheating, trying to cut through from the pit lane. Rubber start again, excellent. Don't know how you get one of these things off the line, but we're moving. Ooh. So no one's left the circuit that I can see just yet. I thought I was about to help someone myself. You can all crawl around the inside and I'll go around the outside if you like. We all made it through this time through, partly because I didn't punt someone. It's all very organised and orderly at the moment. Yeah, I think um, really that's the only thing that AMS2 is missing at the moment is, um, is oval stuff. So it'd be interesting to see whether they bring something out like that. I mean, they have couple of circuits which they could use for oval, I'm sure. Got one on the grass. Get back on. Okay, so you picked some helpers to get you back through the field. That's good. Oh, someone just clouded the inside wall then. <laughs> A little over-ambitious on turning. Whoop. There's crunching noises going on. Take a high line again. Mr. Mesham know all about that, I'm sure, after today. Seeing races track start at Taruma. You live 40 minutes away from it. That's awesome. I do love this place. I think it's great. What's your favourite thing to uh, to watch trackside here at Taruma? I'd love to know. Daytona's already coming, is it? Okay. That's awesome. Just in. Are they going to do road course form only, or are they actually going to include the oval, the super speedway? I don't know if it's with the oval. Okay. Yeah, it may well be road course potentially but if they're going to do that they may as well include the oval as well by running something like the um, the Opala stock cars around there could be quite fun they're not really geared for oval racing but um, it could be quite a good laugh in fact anything which is good for slipstream would be a lot of fun around there. Someone's been kicking up the dirt on the inside there. No grip. P17 we're on so far. Six minutes to go. Everyone's kind of settled down slightly. Well, that's not the way to turn in there with the wheel on the grass, one of the cars ahead. Reasonably close. Arrgh. Massive G force through there, I'm sure. Just, just feel the load through the wheel, just incredible. Right, what are these not going to do here now? Yeah, 
stay up high. It's probably got better grip actually at the moment. this Bryn race go to um, Homestead and Sebring as well. That would be good. Love Sebring. Homestead's quite a nice oval course as well. Oh, they're going too wide through the... Are they nuts? Are you crazy? Ooh. Oh. Bonk. go. Uh, no, no, no. Time to go on that dirty stuff. You don't reckon they'll handle the high speed banking? It's possible. Grip around the outside. Did I get that one guy? I did. Oop, my yellow car's been off exploring the scenery again. Must have uh, spotted some kind of rare bird in the bushes. Let's take care investigate. Back on the racing line now. I know, I need to get my over license up, but I haven't done much with it. through that. Two for the price of one? Yes. P14. Oh, we've got more explorers. The full length, la full length races on the iRacing and uh, the NASCAR series must be uh, quite intense. The um, the cup cars look like they're a lot of fun to drive. Wow, how did we not hit him then? Top ten, we're in the top ten. <laughs> Where are you going? That's not the line. Forearms are starting to complain at me again. No, no gravel. <laughs> How did we turn that in? Two minutes to go in the race. Not using DRS on this one, as you can tell. It's obviously the preferred line through that corner. I must be doing something wrong. Three hour race on Daytona. No wonder you managed to find your way back through to eighth again after all that. It's just like a, a VRS endurance race. We know you're the, uh, the master of not giving up on endurance races, guys. That's good, yeah, so you get to, get to work together and draft each other along. It's cool. No. No. <laughs> There's a common theme appearing in all of these races. I do okay. I get myself into a good position. And then with... 
the dying stage of the race is coming up, I bin it. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's actually a really fun combo as well, I do like that. Um, the only real overtake, overtaking opportunity is uh, the, the hairpin as you saw going around the outside there. Um, but that was actually really fun, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it has. AI has definitely come along a lot way, a long way. I mean, <laughs> it's almost like burnout through uh, AI. Yeah, it's um, it's still got an element of wreckfest in here, um, but <laughs> it's not um, not constant. You can actually have a bit of a bit of a race with them, which is good. Um, I know I said one more, but let's let's just. Okay, I'm going to leave this up to you guys in the chat. You you pick which track we're going to go at for one final blast. We're going to run with the Formula Ultimate. I want you guys to pick a a short circuit, uh, something which is not usual for a Formula One cars to run on, and we'll have a bit of fun. So, those who've joined the stream f further on through, we've done Brands Indy. I just about survived that one. I actually finished the race on that one, which was um, <laughs> probably the only one I did. Um, we've done Brasilia outside, obviously. We've done uh, Londrina short. Um, I think. I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's all we've done. So have a look, see what you think. We'll, we'll choose one that's uh, not normal for a Formula One car to be found on. So what can we do? We could do Velocita Club, which is a really short. Circuit. We could do. We could do Vela Park. Um, we could do, do the Snetterton 100 circuit. <laughs> if I'm really feeling up for some punishment. Yeah, yeah. So AI is always a bit hit and miss. It depends on the car and the, the circuit layout as well. Sometimes it can be really quite evenly matched, and sometimes you can just have complete fit and just. <laughs> do nothing. Yeah, you did choose one earlier, Frankie. I, I, yeah. So if anyone else wants to put a suggestion out there, please do, and we can we can jump into it. Uh, put some other ideas out there. Silverstone National. Um, what else? We oh, yeah, we did Santa Cruz del Sol as well. Um, in the the Formula Riser, trying to find our way around there without um, being able to see anything. Um, Alton Park Foster Circuit. Could be fun. <laughs> do, we, do we take it on a cart track? <laughs> that would just be just a bit, a bit much. Um, that's too. Um, no. One of the short Suzukas. We haven't done uh, Goyana yet. I hope I, spelled, hope I said that correctly. Guyana? Goyana? I guess a sort of try over for you, almost at home with that one, guys. Except it's turning right, so we'd have to do it in reverse, but we don't have that option. Um, Koyana Short, which is this one. You know what? I, I, I'm ashamedly never driven that. I've never driven that one. I quite like this chicane section here, it's quite cool. Felicita with Accelerado's layout. I believe it's the track they want. Kansai East is funny. <laughs> Which one's that one? That's the. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> yeah, it's just all constant turning, apart from the straight, obviously. But then you didn't need, didn't need me, need me to tell you that. Um, I reckon. I reckon. What should we do? Le Mans short. Now, unfortunately, we don't have Le Mans, uh, but there's not nothing really short about Le Mans. <laughs> the Bugatti one. Yeah, we don't have that on here. Um, let's try. Oh, you guys are giving me all these choices now, and I'm going to have to make one. Let's try this. Let's try this. We're in the in the really fast car, so it'll really. Uh, What's Casivo short? Am I missing something on that one? <laughs> Let's try Goyana short. 
and then we we may let's just uh, we'll just disable qualifying altogether. Let's jump straight into a race. Who cares? We'll learn as we go. Um, right, we'll do this one, and then we might, depending on the time, ooh, we might be able to fit a uh, might be able to fit a velocitor round in as well, just for fun. Just because you guys are asking for it, and it'd be good to try and do do something for you. Right, go going on a short. So it kind of tails off the first corner. It doesn't go straight and then back round. Okay, so obviously we're going to be starting from the back. So we'll let the AI show us around. Ooh, no. Oh, I thought for a moment we had a decent start. No. Oh, we got rubbing and bumping already. Oh, it's a manners attack. After you? No, after you. Right, now I know where we're going now. Except... <laughs> There's a lot of cars on the way. Oh, okay, I shall have to check that one out for sure. I will definitely look that one up. First corner, breaking point, probably 150, just to be a little cautious. Wow, they are struggling with the slow stuff. A couple of big black licorice sticks, but from brakes rather than lighting the rear tyres up. Too many gears down. Right, let's see if we can make some time on them in the slow stuff. That of course requires me to stop the car. Just cut across here. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Hang on a second, what am I doing here? Let's give myself a chance at least. Right. <laughs> no. Right. Let's start again. This time, stay stationary. My poor starts are really just uh, a ploy to let the AI just go ahead and sort themselves out into turn one. <laughs> if they can. Big lip on the road there where you cross over to the standard track. Whoa, curbs! Yes, Mizzleluck is good. I have got that one on my uh, set of course installation. I do like that one. Yeah, I definitely should have taken my own advice and going for the, the 150 board as the breaking point for turn one. Too timid to get the power down, just expecting it to spin out on me. <laughs> yeah. Yep, never mind into Lagos, we'll come here instead. That'll sort them out. Who would be the first driver, do you reckon, to uh, to bin it around here? Other than me, obviously. But if real F1 were to come here, who would be? Who would you have your money on to uh, cause the first incident? Definitely 
certainly getting our eye on now with that first corner. So we've only made two places up so far. Infrastructure is probably the main stumbling block for a lot of tracks around the world. It used to be the, um, the money demands which were the main issue, but um, with the F1 paddock as complex as it is with all their massive motorhomes and things, you've really got to have the space to accommodate it all. But the Do it again. So what are you going to do here? He's going to wait for me? Oh, that's nice. Reverse. Yep. Go on, after you. <laughs> See who blinks first as to which one moves. <laughs> you reckon Max would do it? Would you do it on the outlap though? <laughs> the assembly lap to the grid. Flags now. I'm too timid with all the dirt on the track from all these AI cutting the, the corners. Yeah, we've got the new one coming in Rio, supposedly. Which would be a good addition to the, the list. But there's, yeah, there's some, so many good little tracks. Which are uh, really worth exploring and trying out. Curitiba for F1. Would the, um, the straight not be a bit too bumpy for them? Because it's quite... Unless they've resurfaced it, I think um, it used to be quite bumpy. Oops, too deep into that. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's another. Poor show from my driving. I suppose we'll let these guys go. Try and learn from them. However, I'm going to put um, something out here. You may or may not agree or disagree with this. But um, any of these circuits, would they be a worthy? replacement for the like of Monaco. As crazy as they are, you'd probably get a better race, maybe? Right, okay. Yeah, it probably would need a complete overhaul, but It's quite a nice little track though, I do like Curitiba. The first time I drove that in sim was back in um, race 07, oh sorry, race, the original race, the WTCC game. <laughs> it's just <laughs> bogged down, no problem. Um, but yeah, that was where I first drove Curitiba, obviously World Touring Cars went there back in 2006. Consequently, I actually wrote the, um, you probably won't believe this either, but um, I actually wrote the official track guides for the race titles. Yeah, the, uh, the cars themselves are 
in my opinion, a little bit too wide. I was always worried actually when they um, announced that they were going to increase the downforce. They just ruin the, the racing altogether. I mean, they're always trying to improve. This is just a hopeless cause of this one. <laughs> they're always trying to improve the, uh, the the racing spectacle, improve the the close kind of action. Um, but I was always a bit worried when they uh, added bigger tyres, more aero, etc. It would just be too much. Um, but uh, to be fair, I know Mercedes has kind of run away with it for the last couple of years, but. This last year was um, not too bad actually in terms of racing. I think there were some some decent races that we got out of it, which was which was good to see. Right, let's jump into Velocita Club Day. <laughs> yeah, they were, they would never leave Monaco. Yeah, you're right. Half of them live there, so and it's it's the jewel in the in the crown for Formula One. So yeah, they'll, they'll probably never leave there. Um, I mean, it's it's interesting for the first couple of laps. You know, it's fun seeing Formula One cars on on a street circuit like that. But uh, yeah, the racing is never particularly uh, exciting. Well, it used to be when the cars could actually fit on the track, <laughs> but now, yeah, it pretty much takes up the whole road. Yeah, well, yeah, there's that point as well. It's kind of like F1's Indy 500, isn't it? Really. Um, Every corner faster than a flat out, than a happen is flat out. There's not much you can do. Yeah, no, that's, this is true. Carvello. <laughs> Compare Keller crash to Lambo in S3. Be careful. Right. Okay. I will try and bear that in mind. <laughs> okay. So again, not a track that I've particularly driven. But we're not here for an out and out performance, we're here for a, a bit of a lap, so... <laughs> yeah, I'll add, add to that as well, I'll run that over for good measure. Don't need marker boards. And floppy markers. <laughs> ah, lock up. We're doing 50, mile, 50 kilometers an hour. So we're doing town speeds up the hill. <laughs> no, there's, there's a bit of grass on the inside there. Aim for the cone. And a straight, let's go. Slowly get our eye on a little bit. I'll have that. And we'll have. Oh, no. Oop, crunch. Ooh, big bump on the inside there. Try not to hit the grass on the inside this time. Ooh. <laughs> Can't touch the uh, the throttle very much. Not in the lower gears. Whoop. Well, there's a curb. Hmm. Some very nicely placed rocks. There's a a monkey board for you there, look. <laughs> Let's restart that, because that was uh, a fail on my part. A dog crossing the track at Curitiba. Lawrence Manthor came to race in stock car. Okay, that's cool. Probably not too exciting for the, the drivers, not the kind of excitement they wanted anyway. 
kind of want to see it on Interlagos Historic Oval. <laughs> yes, let's get rid of that board. We're going for that curve on the inside. Oh! Just leave them all fighting over the inside there. I feel like this is one of those tracks where you can't spend a lot of time on full throttle, you just have to feather it in just ever so slightly. Yeah, maybe like a non-championship race for Monaco perhaps. Yeah, that's an idea. Just casually rounding people up around the outside, no problem. Step and dive bump. Now, this is a very different kind of challenge in this car. We compare it to the likes of Taruma, for example, where you're flat out most of the time and you're trying to um, use the error as much as you can. This one is very different. You're really grip limited a lot of the lap just purely because of the slow speed nature of the corners. It's good for teaching you throttle control, that's for sure. Something which I need to learn more of. But we're picking them off slowly. Even second here rather than first, that's better. Outside lines working an absolute charm through that. Second gear is definitely the friend around here, I think. Ooh. Yes, that's better. So you reckon we run another multi-class F1 race? I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm down for that. What car should we go in? I'll let you choose the uh, the car we drive. Crunch! <laughs> Sorry! Just desperate for that top 15 spot. First laps, we've actually got a chance to um, have a clear run through there. It's kind of weird not seeing it full of car. Don't get my braking references. <laughs> oh, I almost taken out my cone. Ten seconds quicker than Barrichello in a Porsche Spider. Okay. Probably need to go quicker then. I do feel this isn't really a, a track well suited to this car. Porsche Spider probably fair a bit better around here. The only place the F1 car really makes up the difference is down here. Oh, that's, 
aggressive line over the curb. The driver's trying to make him pay for that. He's going to hold on on the inside. left in terms of tyres, it's just going to be flat spots everywhere. The place gained. Or two. <laughs> oh no, I'm just losing the plot. <laughs> I have noticed with this circuit, there's, there's quite a few blind corners. But that uh, double left at the top of the hill is pretty tricky. So this that. It's a short squirt of power just between those two. Yeah, cast your votes now, we're into the stage where normally I start to fall apart and end up not finishing the race. We've got two minutes left. How am I gonna make it without spinning, crashing, destroying another person's race. <laughs> well, another person's race, I already destroyed one person's race at that corner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> No need to take the front wing off on track. You're saving the mechanics a job. Actually, any curve at all on the inside, though, it's just con uh, tarmac and then grass. Oop, we're in the top ten, a minute to go. We've just entered the danger zone. That's the time! <laughs> Ten seconds left. <laughs> what is it? I'm sure it's uh, written into the... Uh, written into the... Um, what's it called? The, uh, 
the tyre coating. Just to make sure that as soon as you uh, reach that 10 second warning, it just throws you off. <laughs> we still finished the race, but um, didn't quite get our top 10 there. Oh dear me. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy, really am. Right, okay. This is the last race now. We're going to do um, some multi class stuff. Uh, and we're going to do it at another circuit. I've shamefully not driven. Especially in this car, is this one the inter Interlagos outer circuit? I think that's the one that was suggested, wasn't it? So let's choose our let's choose our classes. Let's clear all those. So we'll have a former ultimate on. We will have. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to blame it on something else, but um, I don't really think I can. <laughs> right, let's put a let's put a form of vintage in there. Uh, we haven't used the '80s cars yet, so I might uh, might drive one of those until I was over. No wings, go. <laughs> Uh, and we'll put in. I know we've done this before. Let's put the Formula V in just because. <laughs> Although I can't, can I? I've got. Uh... Yeah, what am I going to drive? What am I going to drive? Well, I might do the. Um... The form of vintage, then. Which one do we go for? Model 1, Model 2. Got a little bit of a grabbing me kind of nose to it. Straight pipes, yeah, rather than this one. What liveries we've got to choose from? Oh, yes, cl classic nose band version. What an eagle look alike there. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Right, um, vintage, Gen 1, it's our class from the classic Gen 2s. I don't know, the thought from the classic was the one I was going to run, but yeah, that's fine. This, this will work fine. we the um, second slowest, so that's fine. Okay, so as far as I can see, there's lots of left hand corners. No wings. I haven't got any wings to worry about on this one. So far, so old record there, 53. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's very neatly put um, put us in class order there. So, right, got 10 minutes, I'm going to be flat out. How quickly are we going to catch the Formula V's? Yes. Backed on the H pattern gearbox. <laughs> ah! <laughs> keep it, keep it level. Right. Okay. First corner. Done. Five gears, which is cool. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I'm so used to having so much downforce. Hang on. Let me recode my brain on that one. <laughs> right. First gear. You've got no grip, treaded tyres, loads of power, and understeer to boot. So let's let's have a play with this. This time I'm not going to run off track. Right, 
Right, it's a better turn one. Happier with that. So I need to slow it down considerably for this one. Yeah, more like it. Okay, so this is effectively, from what I can tell, the run to the final straight. <laughs> Bounced off the walls. Yes. <laughs> Grip is an illusion, yes. It is in one of these. We're going, we don't need grip. <laughs> and overrated. Yep, absolutely. Right, don't cloud the wall. Okay, we've officially survived a lap. There's a berm on the outside. Pull some, pull some space. Oh, look out! The ultimates are coming. Oh, it's right on me. Be gentle with me. <laughs> yes, I know they're coming. I know there's blue flags. So it's you lot who are putting all that dirt on the inside. <laughs> You're a beat required. <laughs> Get myself all in a bit of a confusion through there then. Wasn't sure what gear I should have been in. Blame it on those uh, former ultimates. Oh yes, that's better. This corner's troubling me. <laughs> Don't let that intimidate me. I'm trying. Oh, here we go. Here the formula videos. That one's so good because it just drops away on the inside. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> one. It's one lap. We're gonna get uh, a shortened race over probably as well because and get lapped a couple of times by the ultimates. Hey! <laughs> Taking off. They build them build them solid back in the sixties. Cheesy downforce. What was the uh, what's the quote? Downforce is for those people who can't build engines. Enzo said that. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> why is he doing that? <laughs> no. It's happened early. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 
those um, those poor Formula V drivers with their lack of uh, lack of downforce and power. Oh dear. Yeah, that Formula V fin. The only real benefit I can see, I'm not a rare engineer obviously, but um, the only benefit I can see of it is if um, they end up going pitch sideways. Yeah, this one there. lead in class back hopefully. I know there's another car behind me so I don't want to go left there. Oh. Right, there we go. Back to P2 in class hopefully. These cars going to ruin my run up the hill again. My problem last time around through here is I, I for some reason just slammed the brake on. Just pitched me sideways into the fence. Zone, so I wonder whether he's just been bullied. <laughs> Some more jumping F1 cars. Even though they are slow and gripless, they are a lot of fun to drive. Well, I must say, I'm enjoying this from the vintage car. I know I've had a couple of moments in it, but when you get the corners just right, they are so good. Whoa. Don't put the brakes on that. Use a traffic to our advantage. Although I uh, had our moment early on in this one, we've managed to recover it. We've got 10 seconds left, so we're now... <laughs> it's going to happen to this corner, I can just see it coming. It's going to take it extra careful. <laughs> Nearly even being careful. Too busy reading comments. <laughs> Finish me off. Come on, check a flag. No. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I reckon top five of your uh, favourite cars. Yeah, I'd say so. enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that too. That was um, a bit of a crazy race. Whew. It's when he uh, gets the blood pumping. Oh, there we go. Well, that just about sums us up for our evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming along and joining in with us and really appreciate your inputs, your comments um, and your uh, choices for me to drive as well. Um, some interesting combinations out there, some work better than others, um, but some of them probably didn't work as well because of my own personal driving issues going on. <laughs> but um, really, really appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. Um, and please get down and uh, give that a, a bit of a thumbs up on the like button as well, I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, let us know what you want to see us do in the future, and we're open to doing all sorts of different things. As you can see, we're open to various combos, so let us know in the comments below um, which combos you'd like to see us run, what kind of content you'd like to see from us in the future as well. Um, but until next time, we will see you all very, very soon indeed. Take care of yourselves and um, yeah, have an awesome rest of your weekend. <laughs>